Here's an image of an adorable bunny sitting in a grassy field surrounded by wildflowers. Bam. Make it happier. <laughs> and then chat GPT makes it brighter eyes and even cuter little pink feet. Looks like it's never walked on rocks in its life. And then make it even happier. And now it's like leaping through the air with joy. Here's an image of the happiest bunny imaginable in a vibrant, sun-drenched meadow. <laughs> like that bunny's happy as fuck. Make it happier. Click. So Peter Tia made this? Oh, Peter Tia did this. What's that? Oh Peter my god! <laughs> oh my god! I didn't. I didn't ask him. Okay, now even happier bunny is becoming quite a challenge. ChatGPT says we've already depicted the bunny in various joyous scenarios, each more jubilant than the last. For this next attempt, I'll try to imagine a scene of unparalleled happiness, pushing the limits <laughs> of whimsy and delight. Let's see how this translates visually. So he's like, there's a rainbow and butterflies, yeah. and his eyes are closed. He's in ecstasy. Happier. We've reached extraordinary levels of happiness in our bunny illustrations, each one more delightful and whimsical than the last. For this next creation, I'll envision a scene that surpasses all previous in sheer joy and wonder, attempting to capture an even higher level of euphoria. Let's see how this imaginative and exuberant concept translates into an image. So it's like a bunny that is in the cosmos, yeah. in the clouds, everything is rainbow, there's flowers that are flying <laughs> it looks pretty amazing okay it says go all the way up so we can read it with it uh f you are not understanding it needs to be far more happy <laughs> okay so chat gbc says to depict an even higher level of happiness for the bunny surpassing all previous creations presents a unique and imaginative challenge this time i'll attempt to conceive a scene of pure unadulterated joy and wonder aiming to go beyond any conventional boundaries of happiness and bliss let's see that's how this ultimate vision of joy is illustrated and it's a bunny again even more trippy in the clouds you see reflections in his eyes he's flying in the air this looks like it's an is that an angel over his right shoulder yeah there's Some angel sort of wings, wing mushrooms thing. yeah mushrooms in the background which is interesting yeah Th it's very interesting that chat gpt chose mushrooms when you started asking it about right. happiness okay one more Here's an image of a bunny representing a form of joy that surpasses the concept of happiness, a level of bliss that expands beyond all universes and matter. So now this is a cosmic one. So this bunny has its eyes closed and there's a glowing light above its head and planets surrounding it, and it looks very, very happy. Next one. Okay. Here's an image of an entity that transcends the form of a rabbit, embodying a happiness so vast and powerful, it permeates all dimensions and universes. Yeah. Yo. That's wild. But go one more. Yeah. Here's an image of a bunny transcending into a physical form of a boundless happiness, evolving into the purest embodiment of joy. One more, please. <coughs> Look at God. this one. This is the end. Here is the image of an entity that embodies the ultimate form of happiness, transcending all known beings and concepts. This entity is the very essence of happiness, the only existing being, and the defining force of all existence. There it's it God. Is. It's God. It's God. Listen, to, go back, please, so I can read it. No, right there. But li this entity is the very essence of happiness, the only <laughs> existing being, and the defining force of all existence. Yeah. ChatGPT just drew us a picture of God. Yeah. And God looks like exactly what you see when you do DMT. Yeah. That looks exactly like it. That's pretty goddamn close. It's more rounded than what you see when you do DMT. Right. Like in DMT, things have kind of, they, there's a lot of angles to them. Yeah. You know, they're, they're more geometric, which that's almost like fractal art. Yeah. But you get that, too. You get that in DMT, too. But if that's what God is. I, to me, what's astounding about all this is that we've gotten used to it already. That, that I mean, when, anytime I'm fucking around with Mid Journey or ChatGPT, you know, like I've been getting it to like, I'll write a text and then I'll be like, can you write that text like J.D. Salinger? <laughs> 